Special counsel Robert Mueller subpoenas a Trump organization over its alleged business in Russia. One America's Christian Rose has the latest. A new report claims special counsel Robert Mueller has subpoenaed the Trump Organization to turn over documents related to the company's business, including in Russia. The New York Times cited two sources familiar with the matter as saying the subpoena seeks to determine whether foreign money was involved in the 2016 Trump campaign. The White House stressed it continues to fully cooperate with the investigation. We've maintained all along, and as the president has said numerous times, uh, there was no collusion between the campaign and Russia uh, for specific questions regarding the Trump Organization, I would refer you to them. We're going to continue to fully cooperate out of respect for the special counsel. We're not going to comment for any specific questions about the Trump Organization. I'd refer you there. This is the first time the Mueller probe is focusing directly on President Trump, though back in December it was reported the special counsel subpoenaed Deutsche Bank records related to President Trump's business. The reports of Deutsche Bank's subpoena were subsequently dismissed as unconfirmed. This time, however, attorneys for the Trump Organization said they have no plans to contest the recent Mueller subpoena and reaffirmed their commitment to cooperate with the probe. You know, his original mandate, when he, Mueller's mandate, when he got the appointment, was to pursue all leads pursuant to possible collusion in the 2016 election. But that wasn't sharply defined in terms of all, what all roads meant, legally speaking. And Mueller's chosen to interpret that to mean that he's allowed to look at the financial and business dealings of the Trump Organization. This comes after the House Intelligence Committee wrapped up its separate probe, saying there was no collusion. Meanwhile, several other congressional probes into the alleged Russian collusion are increasingly focusing on the recently revealed ties between Russia and the Democrats, as well as possible anti-Trump biases and wrongdoing by the Obama FBI and DOJ. While there is no evidence at all to support that there is any collusion between Russia and the Trump organization, there seems to be plenty of evidence on the other side, on the Democrat side. There should be a mandate and certainly needs to be one uh, with the uh, Department of Justice to, to look at Russian collusion in general, wherever it may take us, Republican or Democrat, and get to the bottom of it. But I suspect there's, you're going to find some in the Democrat side if you take a look there. According to the Times report, the latest Mueller subpoena was issued several weeks ago. Over this period, the Mueller team has interviewed several witnesses about the alleged influx of money from the United Arab Emirates and other countries into the U.S. and the possible use of such funds by the 2016 Trump campaign. Some say special counsel Mueller is interested in the Trump Organization's scrapped plans to build a Trump Tower in Moscow, an endeavor which would have given President Trump $4 million in upfront fees. We've met with a number of people and we may do something in Moscow and in various parts of Russia, but we have had some meetings while I'm here and we could very well do something. We're thinking about doing a Trump Tower in Moscow. So we're talking to a group of people about doing that. However, the deal fell through in early 2016, and the only evidence of the planned construction of the Trump Tower Moscow is a non-binding letter of intent signed by Donald Trump back in 2015. This happened roughly a year prior to the first allegations of Russian collusion. When Trump came to Moscow a few years ago, he was not a politician, and we did not know about his political ambitions. He was a businessman one of the rich people in America. Does anyone really think our security services chase every American billionaire? Of course not. It's complete nonsense. The Times report also stirred some concern Mueller might be crossing the red line, as President Trump explicitly warned the special counsel against seeking access to his personal finance, unless directly related to Russia. While the scope of the subpoena remains unknown, Mueller's interest in the Emirati money, as reported by the Times, might be a greater concern than the Trump Organization's cancelled project in Russia. President Trump hadn't specified how he would respond to Mueller crossing the red line, but more recently he repeatedly expressed his willingness to sit down for an interview with the special counsel, as the president believes he did nothing wrong and has nothing to hide. There's been no collusion whatsoever. There's no obstruction whatsoever. And I'm looking forward to it. I do worry when I look at all of the things that you people don't report with what's happening. If you take a look at, you know, the five months worth of missing texts, that's a lot of missing texts. Robert Mueller was assigned to the Russia probe last May and has yet to discover any remote evidence of the alleged Russian collusion. According to the Times report, the investigation might last for several more months. Christian Rose, One American News. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call today.